Hey folks, it's Mike Murphy here. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna share with you my secret sauce to making your photos pop using one filter. That's right, one filter. I'm gonna show you how to do this in both Adobe Lightroom and inside of Photoshop. Super easy to do, but truly something that I do on every single photo before I upload to Instagram or to any social media. And sometimes it is the only thing I do to process a photo. Now I'm a professional retoucher and I do all sorts of processing for photography. This filter has been the best filter <laughs> to come out in a long time. It came out in the fall of 2015. A lot of people don't even know about this filter, but it is truly amazing and I'm happy to share with it, share with you today. What it is that I'm talking about is called the D Haze filter. It is absolutely amazing. You can find it in both Photoshop and inside of Lightroom. I'm going to show you here. I have a couple images here straight out of the camera. This is a raw image right out of a Canon T5i. And you can see here, nothing's been done to either one of these photos, okay? With one click of a button in the dehaze filter, you can take this photo and turn it into truly, it just pops instantly. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into the effects panel over here on the right. And on the bottom here, you can see dehaze. I usually start with a number of 50, then I back off because it can be pretty powerful. And just like that, boom. One filter, before, after, before, after. If you wanna know how to get the before and after on, in Lightroom, just hit the backslash key above the enter or return on a Mac. Before, after, truly amazing, one filter. I'm gonna back this down to let's say 35. And you get a nice pop. All the colors come out, the nice contrast. What the dehaze filter is supposed to do is remove haze, obviously, dehaze, from a photo. Say you're in an urban environment, a lot of times you get that haze. You can also add haze though, if you want to, if you slide to the left, you can get this nice little effect. It could come in handy for some sort of design feature, but play around with that. If you go to the other end, super extreme, but even the highest extreme, you can just see here, it's a nice controlled pop and truly, I don't think this is what it was designed for, but it is a nice way to give your images just that little bit of oomph without having to do anything. Look at this, just with one filter, I'd be happy with that image right there. Let's take it to photo number two. This is a photo that I took out on the beach the other day. It's with my Rode NTG3 and the Zoom 86. I was doing a little Instagram mission. Start with the number 50, boom. Look at the way the water just pops before, after, before, after. There's not much detail in the sky, but if there was, it would give a nice pop. The grass has a nice green, even the wood, everything just, the contrast is perfect. Again, I might bring this down to say 40. You can just slide, use the slider or just use your arrow keys to move the numbers down until you find a good happy medium. This filter, you can overdo it with the saturation because it looks so good right out of the box, but truly, the dehaze filter, I suggest you use this. I use this on every single photo. Let me show you how to do it inside of Camera Raw in Photoshop. If you're not familiar with Camera Raw, that is Adobe's version of Lightroom more or less. Same exact engine. Every single thing that you can find in Lightroom, you can also find inside of Camera Raw in Photoshop. Another awesome feature. If you wanna learn something new and you're not familiar with Camera Raw, get used to this filter because it is truly great for doing all the edits you can do inside of Lightroom, you can do inside of Photoshop, including on video. That's right, you can use Camera Raw on video. Okay, so if you drag a, if you drag a raw image onto Photoshop, I know these are raw by the CR2. If I drag it onto Photoshop, it's automatically gonna open up raw. There you go, this is Camera Raw. If you look over here on the, these sliders over here, these filters, every single one of these filters is also the same thing inside of Lightroom just a different layout. If you don't see, if you're in Camera Raw on a JPEG and you wanna to get to Camera Raw, you can just do so inside the filter menu. It's not showing up because I'm in here, but inside a filter, you can go to Camera Raw and you can take a JPEG instead of a raw image. The only difference is in white balance, you won't get all these choices because this is raw, I'm able to get this. In JPEGs, you would only get a couple of features. Okay, so the same thing under the effects menu dehaze is on top because it's important 50 you're gonna get the exact same results here inside of camera raw as, you, as we did in in Lightroom but I just wanted to show you that you can do it in both if you want to do the before and after inside of camera raw just hit the P key P 
after. Before, after. P, before, P, after. 